Silence is. Transformation happens. Transparency appears. I am learning to hear and feel the silence between the sounds, underneath the noise, beyond the senses. I am learning to see the infinite and the invisible transparently revealed throughout my life. I am learning to see the activity of the unchanging in the midst of that which is always changing. I am learning the relational practice of deep seeing. I am learning in transparency to see through all things. I am learning to see through all events. I am learning to see through all relationships. I am learning to see the new in the old and the old in the new. I am learning to see the old, bent, arthritic man in the eyes of the baby boy and to see the cute, playful toddler in the old woman's withered body as she is cradled in her wheelchair. Deep seeing probes the contemplative truth that all is one. I am connecting with the omnipresence of the infinite. Every chess player knows the experience of dancing on the rim of an infinite abyss in consciousness. Every chess player has had at least a temporary taste of the ultimate encounter. Life imitates chess. Stories do not exist to tell the facts, but to convey the truth. Over and over, chess was said to have been invented to explain the unexplainable, to make visible the purely abstract to see simple truths in complex worlds. It all starts out so simply. In the first move, white is limited to 20 options. There are only 40 possible first moves per pair of players. The total number of distinct board positions after the second complete move, two moves per player, is 71,852. After three moves each, the players have settled on one of approximately nine million possible board positions. Four moves each raises it to more than 315 billion. The total number of unique chess games is not literally an infinite number, but in practical terms, the difference is indistinguishable, barely thinkable. The estimated total in scientific notation is 10 to the 120th power. With all the zeros laid out, that's 10. By way of comparison, the total number of electrons in the universe is, as best as physicists can determine, 10 to the 79th power. A chessboard, bizarre as it sounds, is pregnant with vastly more possibility. In the same way that a near-death experience purports to give a taste of death without the victim actually dying, Chess's expanse skims close enough to infinity for players to peer over the ledge and envision the fall. In 1550, Saint Teresa of Avila used chess extensively in her text The Way of Perfection as a tool to explore the dynamics of prayer and contemplation. In just a few short moves, the chess player, whether age 5, age 50, or age 95, is gazing into the infinite abyss, moving beyond the mind's capacity as she stretches her interior relational capacities to ponder the imponderable 
and behold the ultimate encounter. So it is also with the game of life. Today is my opportunity to grasp transparency to the infinite reality shining through the finite stuff of my life. In this transformation, I am growing up. I am grasping the universal in the specific. Today, it is my move. Joseph Matthews tells the story of his experience in the early 1970s when he was walking through the fields near Maliwada, a village development project in Maharashtra, India. The fields were spotted with wells from which villagers drew their water. As Joe put it, They have those big wells, some of them 20 to 30 feet across, others 6 to 8 feet across, and in my imagination I was afraid of falling down those wells. As a matter of fact, vertigo overcame me, and I looked in one of those things and thought, if you don't get out of here, Matthews, you're going to jump. I was walking with old men. We were an old Muslim and an old Hindu and an old Christian. We spread out as we were walking in the fields, and simultaneously each one of us fell down a separate well. There we met a table of common consciousness. We three fell down into consciousness. Those wells we fell down were our own historical poetry. I fell down through a hole in Christian poetry, and another fell down through a hole in Hindu poetry, and another through a hole in Muslim poetry. And when we hit the water table of consciousness, we didn't need to speak Hindi or Marathi or English together. We just looked into the deeps of one another's eyes. I am falling into a new world. The language that has delivered me to this place may not communicate the encounter and the experience now before me. Won't you come along and play? It's your move.